Highway 169, walk sign is on to cross. Highway 169, walk sign in. Hello band members, my name is Tony Pike, Roads and Solid Waste Operations Manager for the Mille Lacs Band Public Works. Uh, today we're going to be showing the new uh, Hawk Crossing, which is a high intensity activated crosswalk, or also known as a pedestrian hybrid beacon. This is the second one in the state of Minnesota. Uh, total cost for this project was just under $362,000. 290 of that was uh, secured by our tribe's uh, grants department under a federal highways program grant, leaving just under $73,000 for the tribes for a, for a match funding. Mike Moylan, and director of planning and project management was able under cooperative agreement with MnDOT to have them pay that fund. So this was a zero cost to the tribe. Uh, we're gonna go into the, the pedestrian side of how this crosswalk works. I'm gonna say this probably in the beginning of the video and maybe even a couple times through when the pedestrians, before they walk out into the crosswalk, they should always look both ways. So on, on the pedestrian side, it looks just like uh, any of your other street, street crossing that have lights. Uh, so all this will look the same on the pedestrian side. The pedestrian will come up, pedestrian will push the button. You'll hear a wait. So that activates, that activates the system. And then if you look, it still shows the red stop hand. And then again, the pedestrian goes out, looks both ways, make sure, make sure vehicles come to a stop. There's roughly about 35 seconds for pedestrians to walk from one end to the other, which gives, uh, as you can see, they're not really rushing, gives them ample time to uh, cross. As you can see, he's continue crossing. And then soon as they, soon as they complete their cross, uh, the countdown will stop. And it'll actually just show a stop hand and then that'll let traffic continue again. So now on the vehicle side, when the pedestrian pushes the button, you're going to see an amber, amber flash letting the driver know that a pedestrian has entered the crosswalk. And then a solid amber light will turn on, just like a regular stoplight. So the driver knows that he needs to stop. Then it'll go to a solid red as the, as the pedestrians cross. And then the next is a, a red light that wigwags. What that is, soon as a, a vehicle will come up to a complete stop, soon as the, the pedestrians clear, the vehicles are uh, allowed to go. And then right now, then it's in the last stage where it's completely dark. So drivers can, uh, can just completely go through just like nothing's going on until a pedestrian comes and reactivates the light again. Again, as soon as you come out, make sure the walk is clear on both sides. Um, that's, that's one of my big things I'm going to say. Just keep looking, make sure traffic does stop. There's still a lot of people that uh, notice that they still like to look down on their phone, distracted driving. So please keep that, please keep that in mind. And I hope this oh, helps. Public Works staff will be available uh, on Wednesday from 9 to noon. We've got community members that want to come down, ask us questions kind of walk through on how the whole system works. So we'll be happy to help you out. Uh, thank you and miigwech.